Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of venomous snakes. These remarkable reptiles with their potent venoms and stealthy hunting techniques have long captivated our imaginations. Specifically, we'll be exploring the key differences between two iconic groups, vipers and cobras. Their contrasting appearances, behaviors and venoms make for a captivating study in evolutionary adaptation. Let's get started. The first striking difference between vipers and cobras lies in their fangs, a crucial tool for delivering their venomous payload. Vipers possess long, hollow fangs, hinged like a knife, that fold back against the roof of their mouths when not in use. This ingenious adaptation allows them to strike with lightning speed, plunging these hypodermic-like teeth deep into their prey. Cobras, on the other hand, have shorter, fixed fangs located at the front of their mouths. While these fangs don't retract, they are still highly effective in delivering venom. The venom itself reveals another fascinating divergence in these serpentine lineages. Vipers are renowned for their hematoxic venom, a potent cocktail that wreaks havoc on the circulatory system. It targets blood cells and tissues, leading to excruciating pain, swelling and internal bleeding. The effects can be devastating, disrupting the delicate balance within the prey's body. Cobras, in contrast, typically possess neurotoxic venom, a far swifter assailant. This venom attacks the nervous system, disrupting the transmission of vital signals throughout the body. Paralysis sets in rapidly, ultimately leading to respiratory failure. It is a swift and silent killer. The shape of the head provides another clue to these snakes' identities. Vipers typically sport a triangular or broad flat head, a direct result of the large venom glands situated behind their eyes. These glands, essential for producing their potent venom, contribute to the distinctive shape that sets them apart. Cobras, however, present a more elongated oval head, less distinct from the neck. This streamlined profile allows them to move swiftly through their environment, whether stalking prey or evading danger. Chapter 4. When it comes to defense, vipers and cobras employ contrasting strategies, each honed by millennia of evolution. Vipers, masters of disguise, rely heavily on camouflage and ambush. They often lie in wait, perfectly still, blending seamlessly with their surroundings. When danger approaches, they strike with incredible speed, injecting venom before their presence is even registered. Cobras, however, are famous for their dramatic defensive displays. When threatened, they rear up, spreading the ribs in their neck to form a menacing hood. This impressive spectacle, coupled with hissing and false strikes, serves as a powerful deterrent to would-be attackers. Chapter 5. Vipers and Cobras also exhibit distinct preferences when it comes to their homes and daily routines. Vipers are remarkably adaptable, thriving in a wide range of habitats. From dense forests and arid deserts to rugged mountains, they've carved out a niche in some of the world's most challenging environments. Many species are nocturnal, preferring the cool cover of darkness for their hunting forays. Cobras, on the other hand, often gravitate towards warmer climes. Tropical forests and grasslands teeming with life provide ample hunting grounds for these skilled predators. They're generally diurnal, active during the day when prey is most abundant. Chapter 6 Even in the realm of reproduction, vipers and cobras display fascinating differences. Most vipers are viviparous, meaning they give birth to live young. The females nurture the developing embryos within their bodies, providing them with nourishment until they are ready to enter the world. This strategy offers a greater degree of protection for their offspring during their vulnerable early stages. Cobras, in contrast, are primarily oviparous, laying eggs in carefully constructed nests. The female cobra displays remarkable parental care, guarding her clutch fiercely until they hatch. She is a devoted mother, ensuring the survival of her offspring in a world fraught with danger. Chapter 8 Now, let's dive into the dietary habits and hunting techniques of vipers and cobras, two of the most fascinating predators in the reptile kingdom. 
Vipers are known for their ambush hunting style. They rely on their camouflaged appearance to blend seamlessly into their surroundings, waiting patiently for unsuspecting prey to wander within striking distance. With their heat-sensing pits, vipers can detect the body heat of warm-blooded animals, making them highly effective nocturnal hunters. Their diet primarily consists of small mammals, birds, and occasionally amphibians. Cobras, on the other hand, are more active hunters. They utilize their keen eyesight and agility to pursue prey often during the day. Cobras are known for their distinctive hood flare, which they use to intimidate potential threats or prey. Their diet is diverse, ranging from small mammals and birds to other reptiles and even eggs. Some species of cobras have even been observed preying on other snakes, showcasing their adaptability and predatory prowess. Both vipers and cobras employ their venom as a crucial tool in subduing prey. Vipers inject a potent hemotoxin that disrupts the blood's ability to clot, leading to rapid immobilization of their target. Cobras, meanwhile, deliver a neurotoxic venom that paralyzes the nervous system, rendering their prey helpless. Despite their differences, both vipers and cobras are masterful hunters, perfectly adapted to their respective environments. Their unique hunting techniques and dietary preferences highlight the incredible diversity within the world of venomous snakes. Gap 3S Gap 2S When it comes to speed and agility, both vipers and cobras showcase remarkable abilities, though their approaches differ significantly. Vipers, with their robust and muscular bodies, are often perceived as slow movers. However, they can strike with astonishing speed when capturing prey. Cobras, on the other hand, exhibit a different kind of agility. These snakes are more active and mobile, often seen gliding gracefully through their habitats. In a direct comparison, vipers excel in short bursts of rapid movement, perfect for ambush attacks, while cobras demonstrate sustained agility and speed, ideal for active hunting and evasion. Gap 2S Gap 2S Beyond their biological traits, vipers and cobras have left an indelible mark on human culture and mythology. These serpents are often revered and feared, symbolizing concepts from death and danger to wisdom and protection. In ancient Egypt, the cobra was a symbol of royalty and divine authority, often depicted on the crowns of pharaohs. The uraeus, a stylized upright form of a cobra, was believed to offer protection and was associated with the goddess Wajet. In Hindu mythology, cobras are sacred and are associated with the god Shiva, who is often depicted with a cobra coiled around his neck. The festival of Nag Panchami is dedicated to the worship of snakes, highlighting their revered status in Indian culture. Vipers too have their own place in folklore. In European mythology, vipers were often seen as omens of evil and misfortune. However, they were also believed to possess medicinal properties, with their venom being used in various traditional remedies. In African cultures, vipers are sometimes seen as guardians of the land. Their presence a sign of a healthy ecosystem. They feature prominently in stories and rituals, embodying the duality of danger and protection. These cultural narratives reflect our complex relationship with these creatures and underscore the deep respect and fascination they inspire. Gap 2 RS. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating wildlife content. The world of venomous snakes with its intricate adaptations and delicate balance offers endless opportunities for exploration. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive and never stop learning about the wonders of the natural world. See you next time.